Nice. So I was shaving, I don't know, a few weeks ago. Hopefully, can you see the top of my head? I don't shave all that much, but I really enjoy doing it when I'm home, working from home. I get a little bit extra time in my day to shave. And this year of the tiger, man, I was looking at the labels and I love the shiny labels. I think the best labels in the game. This is the best scent in the game. This is Afghanos Black. I believe I'm saying it right. <sighs> I get, I almost just, I don't know why I feel like I get cannabis out of it. <laughs> and then uh, I got this one, which is another one that's like a literally up my alley. Uh, Pime. This one is African leather. Knew nothing about it. Knew nothing about that other scent either. Like uh, Hendrix is like teaching me what to look for. And like now my eyes like trained on these bottles and like those scents and those the scent profile on those because they're just that darn good and this one it's, it's good it's like that one's 11 out of 10 this one's like for soap this one's probably like a 9.5 out of 10 and then of course gunslinger Whew. that one is Tobacco, red tobacco, and uh, I, I forget how great that one is. I had it on a few days ago. It's just lit. It's it's complex. It smells so like creamy. Just, just, I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to describe. You literally got to own that bottle. It's uh. I wish I had it with me. I'll get it in a second, maybe. Um, Pime. I knew like African leather is such an expensive scent. It's like a few hundred bucks, like three, three fifty. That I picked up this little guy. Haven't used a whole lot of it just because it's so. Uh, it's a one ounce, super concentrated. Last year all day, um, but usually I'm I'm rocking like three ounce bottles. That is a nice, attractive cap, by the way, and you know, just well done. When I want a fantastic shave, I pull out the year of the tiger, which to me, tigers are like my spirit animal. If I was to get a tattoo, which I don't have, I want a, I want a big like climbing tiger up my arm. Um, very untraditional, but very traditional. Hard to explain. I don't want anyone to steal my idea, but that would be like my big tattoo. I'm, I'm currently free of tattoos. Um, I've always liked tigers. My kids have always liked tigers. Tigers are just the beast. Um, they can take down a lion if they were on the same continent. So anyways, Year of the Tiger, that was that was a year before last year. Last year was the Year of the Rat, I believe. I was like, hmm, after I shaved, I went on the interwebs on Instagram. I hit up Hendrix Classics and I was like, you know what? This is a special year too. The Year of the Dragon. Besides the tiger, the dragon is just, for animal-wise, like power-wise, that much cooler. And he's like, well, hold on. And he sent me a exclusive pic. It's like, don't tell anybody. I don't know when that was, like a week, two weeks ago. And I was like, holy flippin' A. Uh, here it is. Amazing looking. I've yet to smell it. Look at that shine I'm getting. I'm seeing shine coming off. It's like a lure, like a fishing lure. Very kick-ass logo. Knocked it out of the park. I mean, who who doesn't like that? I would say I, it's hard to say which ones which ones is cooler because they they both have their own coolness, but they're both definitely cool. Got that shiny label. Armani's. Uh, like Imperio Armani's Stronger With You, and that's like one of those beloved ones. I haven't had one of those yet. Some of the ones that they kind of like, they're similar to things that I would already like and have had my eye on, and I'm sure have. This one's Stronger With You Leather. It came out in 2002. He gets, I think he gets scents that are already like proven. These are the, the top of the top people that make sense. Uh, in the fragrance world, I've been a part of the fragrance group for like strong for two years, I'm keeping my nose to the grinder of the huge amount of fragrances from like these top designers and, and niche houses and all this stuff. Certain ones rise to the top. Stronger With You is one of those. With leather, 
I'm thinking it's gonna be like dominant, but I also think it's gonna be like one of those le leathers that you can handle. I looked up the notes on here. I know it's got a touch of oud. I think it's a Gayak wood, spices, vanilla, some leather. Sounds great. I think it has some lavender in there too. Let's get it, let's get my nose on here. Great pour as always. This soap whips up really good. Hard, it's kind of a hard soap, so it lasts a very long time. And uh, definitely smells like if you go to a like a Sephora or a, is that one, Ulta? Ulta? There, what kind of like when you walk around and just smell what's out there as, as far as like men's cologne, that's what it smells like. I actually get like a floral note. I feel like I'm smelling like, oh, well, I'm, I would always say like, I try to name the color, like purple flower, and that would be the lavender I probably. Yeah, yeah, very good. Uh, very cool with this too. Talk about uh, light and easy to, to work with. You always want to link up. If somebody took the time and maybe just randomly bought this, you, you hook them with the next thing the next thing to, to get them on their path. I love just smelling things. So um, this one's Citrus, Citrus Bomb Scent Card. An easy way to smell a fragrance, experience a fragrance. Southern Comfort Scent Card. Very cool. Uh, Southern Comfort was, that was my uh, first experience into alcohol. <laughs> Southern Comfort. Oh man, this is really heavy paper. And, uh, I'm not even strong enough to get in that. Uh, we'll, oh, oh. Let's, let's shave. I'm gonna, I'm, I think I'm gonna buzz my head and then come back and sh I wanna whip up a really big lather. Usually I use just enough for my head, but I wanna get a big ice cream cone. All right, guys. I'm gonna use my vintage Ever Ready Badger. I just like this one and uh, works good. Some Dorco Prime. It's actually the these came out of the first razor I ever got like six years ago, but I didn't use it until last year. Almost a full cup of water in the microwave for a minute. Put a little washcloth in there. That's gonna be for hot towel on my head. And this hot water, super hot water is gonna go on my brush. I can assemble my carve brass. I just love brass. I find it weird the people that shine these up. I just love that they pick up all the little, you know, use marks that you use. This one's getting kind of strange on top, but uh, it's got that nice, just dark brass color, kind of uh, the brightest color right under here. And then uh, this is C plate. Hot, 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 hot. Super hot. <laughs> my head can take it way more than my hands. I've got a crop soap. And I really like the way it uh, all lathers up and goes on, but like it digs out of my tub really fast. Five ounce tub, sweet uh, labels on the side, also metallic. Trimmed up the beard, I should say. Uh, ran a, a nine millimeter and a six millimeter through the sides. Cut the mustache back probably at least a month and a half. If not more, I'm going to I'm going to Florida. I need to be able to eat some ice cream. So, uh, with my bowl, I said it in the last video, but if you didn't catch that, I just leave whatever was in there last, and I kind of go between like woodsy and citrusy, so it gets a mixture of the two. But um, I'm gonna rinse this one out a little bit. You know what? I don't really want to pull all that uh, clean that out so good. I'm gonna use my AKA. Um, what is that? It's like a mother of pearl. It's another name for that, but beautiful bowl. Don't use it hardly enough. That's the small that they stopped making. So they can make medium and large. And I'm going to use like a double dose, maybe. And that's really not a lot of like pencil shaving thin of so. Smash it in there, and I do like it. It's got little waves 
I don't think anything in your bowl should have hard edges. It all should be soft waves. If anyone wants to ask why, ask me why. Squeeze out some of this. And let's go. Pound town, pound town. Right off the bat, nice white soap. It, it, I honestly have like a Gucci Guilty, and that's a purple juice, and I, I kind of get those vibes off this. I think that's actually an iris. Uh, uh, probably wetter than I would have wanted it. Honestly, it doesn't really matter what it what it does on my head. Um, like this is perfect for my head. Although pitchers for pitchers could be better. You know, I think the, the more you whip it up, those bubbles get smaller and smaller till they get this kind of, uh, uh people get that Dairy Queen curl up top. This is a smaller bowl than I would like. I would definitely have a hard time lathering it up in a cup. I don't know how people do that. And they hit the sides as a clink, 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 clink. All right, so wasn't too long. And there we go. I want to get a picture of that though. And uh, this warm lather going up. I don't know. I started out with synthetic, and I heard somebody say today on a forum, they're like, I'm done with synthetics. And uh, I can understand because this one, just great. Like, it does everything you want it to do. It uh, holds in the water, holds in the heat. It's got some backbone to it. Got some, uh, some of the synthetics, synthetics are way too silky, I think. And uh, this one, this. and then, um, you know, a lot of people really like badgers. I just don't like the way the badgers look. It's all about looks. <laughs> it really is. That smooths out the peaks. All right, I'm going to shave a little bit, and then you can just catch me back at the end, because you don't want to watch the whole thing. And uh, it always does a nice job cutting right through there. That was just one side. I used to be so scared of the double edge when I first started, and now I don't have the fear anymore. It's kind of like shaving with like a Mach 3 or something or whatever they're at, Mach 5 or whatever. So, all right, I'll catch you back in a little bit. <laughs> well, first pass went really well. I think I don't, there's not even a nick, nothing, no blood. Um, yeah, usually when I get a, a nick, it's like the smallest little, little, little poke looking. Um, this soap, um, I get this smell out of it, Gucci Guilty, which I got to look up what that is. That is sexy in a bottle. That's a pour home, uh, you know, just kind of like, you know, hard to do, very hard to do, standard for a big company like Gucci. So Gucci is, is high up there. Um, all right, so second pan, yes. That's what I got still. Just stays. Now see, now it looks, now it's looking thicker than, uh, than before. I don't even need that much. You know, it's kind of nice. If you're gonna um, rinse out your bowl, rinse it out next time you shave, if it's like two days later, because Every time you walk into the bathroom, you get a hit of like pulpery or whatever, a nice cologne smell for free. For free. And uh, 
I love putting on the second one because it goes on so smooth. There's no hair to really fluff up. They're always like, lift the hair. Not really any hair on this pass, I would have to say. Uh, and if you, uh, you can see after a shave, I think um, shaving is such a tougher look, such a better look, such a cleaner look, such a more uh, thoughtful look than than before. All right, uh, this is the back to front. Ladies, don't go back to front. <laughs> Something was on the internet about that. Place. guys like hear stuff like that and they're like what I feel like I know something bald up top don't have to worry about too much hair to cut all right guys check back in at the end maybe I would say Pete has done it again Hendrix classics HC and C have done it again this is a, uh, I know a lot of guys are saying this is a must have. Based on that cover work, I was gonna get this one anyways, but uh, the fact that it smells amazing is all that much better. And then uh, I gotta hit up the cheeks. I almost fine too, like just, just doing this. And just doing this number works really good. I don't know about you guys. Put it right where you want it. Oh gosh. Oh, so good. Like, like, this is one of my favorite sexy time smells. And uh, I don't know how much of a match they are, but like my brain is tricking me into thinking it's that. And uh, couldn't be any happier. So, oh yeah, did I forget to mention, we've got the aftershave, a couple ounces of just this, this intoxicating smell. So put that on in a second. And let me show you. I got this little shave at. You can get these for like, I think 10 bucks. And uh, for bearded guys, this is like a game changer. And uh, I have a hard time getting some of these angles. This side I tend to jab myself. But a long time ago, I had one of those little eyebrow trimmers for my wife. And this reminds me of just like a more hardcore uh, version of that. Cause you can just see the line and like, just go until you wanna you know, pick off one hair at a time. So yeah, love it. Love it, polished look. And wherever that kind of white, you know, the white soap forms, you know, you got the, you know, you got it. So and I could probably use something to keep my beard tamed, but it's got the seal. Oh, it smells good. Like, I was collecting Old Spice. Old Spice can't touch this stuff. Wow, that smells, uh, I, smell, I don't know why I smell cannabis in that too. Ah. <laughs> Like like the like unburnt, uh, with the seeds still in it. So, uh, got this Hydro Boost, which I heard is really good for uh, people like me that have like red skin. And uh, I thought, you know what? Oh, and this has that same kind of a light floral smell. Um, makes a good hydroing uh, extra moisturizer there. So, all right, guys, uh, hope you enjoyed what you saw. Uh, 
I'll have a link for Hendrix down below. Go check them out. Go buy this. Year of the Dragon. You got all year. Maybe. Go pick up Year of the Tiger if you can. If you can, it's 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 on its way out the door. Get it if you can. All right, guys.